What is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster. Welcome back to Fran Bo. We are continuing our journey into chapter three here. And uh, we sort of started chapter three already. It was a lot of exposition, a lot of talking between all the characters. But now we are from a tree stump to a tree lady. <laughs> so I have no idea what's going to happen as we go through this game, but we're going to find out. So let's go into the next section. You fluffy kitty. Ah, do you like that? <laughs> Here I am. Fran, my dear, you've got leaves on your head. How pretty. Oh, let me see you. What a great Ithersstanis you become. Thank you, King Sir. The doctor is incredible. He made magic with the water. But he was sad. He told me many things, but I didn't quite understand. Don't worry. Palantris will be fine. I know the reasons. We have some problems to solve, but that's nothing you should worry about. Let's talk about how you can get back home, right? Yes, please. You said something about a great wizard. Yes, the great wizard is the only one who is able to bring your human body back. And he has the stones that can open the door that will lead you home. Where is the wizard? What stones? This land is full of things I don't understand. <laughs> you haven't even gone outside this castle and you already want to know everything. That's the passion I was talking about. Have patience, friend. The great wizard lives in the great mountain Cutrum. But we haven't seen him for a while now. Find him and everything will be just fine. Why haven't you tried to find the great wizard yourself? Well, we don't need to. It's very logical. You see, we don't need a wizard to perform magic or prepare potions. We can do that ourselves. The wizard's most valuable task is to protect the stones that open the door. I see. So the stones are like keys. And where is the mountain, you said? You'll have to ask around. Follow the signs. I have to go now. But I'll be back in time to help you with the door. Have a great Ithirsted day and good luck finding the great wizard. Oh, look. <laughs> Hello, friend. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Well then. Wow, did you see that huge fluffy creature, kitty? That's Palantris. He fixed me. Yes, it's certainly very fluffy. Oh, I forgot. Here's your purse. Nice. Oh, thank you, kitty. Did you see my pills anywhere? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe they are on the other side of the lake, next to your clothes. Um, well, we have other things to do anyways. We have to find the wizard. Yes, the king said something about a mountain too. Yes, Mountain Cotrim. The great wizard lives there. Let's go. Interesting. So I wonder if the pills are no longer going to be a part of this. Oh my gosh, we have a, <laughs> a wood hand now. Okay, so here's the paper. Mm, many faces. This looks intriguing. Are the faces crying blood? Leon Castillo. One of the thousand. I wonder what that means. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. Found what my senses couldn't show me. Found the truth that relays silently in the unknown. One of the thousand. July 11th, 1908. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit, I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you're reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers. Maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence and become one with everything. Mr. Leon is old and he seems sad. Hmm, let's see something. Maybe you can see things that others can't. Oh yes, that sounds like a lot like me. Interesting. Let's see what he wrote. Okay. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. The black shadows. I can see them too. They're everywhere. Cry because it hurts. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Ramor, Prince of Darkness, from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. It told me that I was the key to its existence. Inside my head, the Stone of Wisdom. Inside my head. So see the Great Wizard? Cry because it hurts. Hmm, creepy. Huh, the monster is making other people sick too. Inside my head, the Stone of Wisdom? January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. 
The other me wants me to commit that. He smiles while pronouncing the words that. And I've tried, hypnotized by his words, but there's always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. Poor Mr. Leon. I like the drawings, though. Ah, oh, that's nice. It must be the love to live. January 15th, 1876. I meet a shadow. For the first time, it talked to me. Kamalas. Their race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving a black, oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. Ugh, this creatures. I wonder why people can't see them. They exist and make people sick. Maybe that's the point, to realize they exist and get rid of them. January 16th, 1876. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. The Kamalas transform into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. Hee <laughs> hee, they melt like wicked witches and fairy tales. Ah, uh, peaceful creatures. If I looked like them, I would go around scaring bad people. <laughs> okay, felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I must go where I belong. If there still awaits, all the locas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. Hmm, read thoughts? I think that's a bit scary. I guess we're always afraid of things we can't understand. Especially if they seem nice. February 2nd, 1876. I was reading my writings to see if I'm missing something. I recall Remore from the fifth reality. If there's a fifth reality, there must be at least four more. I was thinking that Ethersta might uh, may not be a city in this world, but a reality by itself. I wish all answers came to me. I deeply regret the fact that I didn't accept the Veloka's invitation. Since I saw the Velokas, I keep seeing this diagram spinning in my head in a single sentence. Time is the rhythm of your perception. It's one, two, three, four, five realities. I don't understand the drawing. It looks interesting, though. Maybe it's to show how time looks like. March 13th, 1876. I got a visit from my son, Brian. I told him about the things that I've seen, but he didn't want he didn't wanted to hear and left. I don't blame him. I understand that the reality presented before my eyes is invisible to most of people. I wish I could find a friend just like me, because my son, he thinks I'm insane. Lonely with no family, huh? You should get a cat, Mr. Leon. My son thinks I'm insane. Ah, you're not, I can tell. July 25th, 1876. My body and mind are beginning to understand the pattern. Life becomes quite easy to control when you cut all social laws and only apply our reality laws only apply our reality laws because they are not only laws, but also behaviors, chemical behaviors, natural laws. Without those behaviors, without those laws, we wouldn't exist. Sometimes I wish to be a leaf on the ground, calm while, while dying. I think I have to study some chemistry to understand what he means. It can be fun to understand how we are builded and such. Ow, he seems sad. That's sad. Ah, November 11th, 1876. Last night, after the storm, a huge creature visited my garden for a few seconds and then disappeared. Found a strange bottle with a pink liquid inside in the same spot. The creature landed. I can't fully understand the contents of the bottle. I have found red blood cells in it and bacteria not yet recognized. The bacteria seems to get rid of unusual behaviors in any kind of living creature. I poured some of the pink liquid on a dying plant and it bloomed after a few minutes. I cut my finger to test the liquid with human tissue and it cured it after a few seconds. This bacteria may work as a uh, as platelets and white blood cells, but at a very high speed. Oh, what creature can that be? Oh, mysterious pink water. <laughs> Good for the plant that got better and blommed. November 20, 22nd? <laughs> 22nd? 1876. I dream of thousands of black cats surrounded, surrounding my house. Big yellow eyes staring at my sleep. Being in Ethersta, oh, so there's a lot of pages missing now. Wow, I love the pictures. Many kittens and many colors. Being in Ethersta are varied, from roots to giant insects. Roots are the first in this reality. Insects came later. I learned their language and numerology. Oh, Ethersta. Feels like fresh air is coming from the book. 
Looks like somebody ripped off the, some pages here. Okay. Oh, wow. The alphabet. So we can learn how to read then. Interesting. The great Velocus is the beginning of the first reality. Primeve. Light. Velocus shield. The Velocus body structure is quite different from ours. They're made out of photons and sound waves. They're also both male and female. When the youngster reaches age 299, 792, 459, they're crowned with the shield. Oh, 299,799. Oh, sorry, 299,799,459. Wow. Are those letters? They sound funny. Oh, I like the mask. I guess they call it shield. Years old. Well, that's old. Ziar, creation of the great Velokas, king of Atherstha, second reality, life. February 13th, 1877. Being in Atherstha feels like becoming what you can't understand on earth. It's where leaves sing while falling off the tree, and the water whispers its wisdom while you drink it. Ah, oh, beautiful creatures. I love them. I like the trees and the crystals and the grass. Everything. The wisdom in the water. Huh. Pandora. Creation of the five realms of essential existence, free, resides in the human world, third reality, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, consciousness, practice of will. Center seti, the end of vibration, when both ends of the opposite are the same degree, resides in third and fourth reality, death. So this was in uh, Earth, that's my planet. This was in um, uh, Little Misfortune. Sena, center seti, center seti, hmm, death. Mabuka is the end of light. Wow, many heads. That creature must spend a lot of time thinking. Blood everywhere. The end of light? This reminds me of the faces on the tree, but it's definitely a little different. March 23rd, 20, 23th, 1877. Mother Mabuka is letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabuka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from pain anymore because it's part of me. It feels like love is everywhere and in everything. I enjoy crying, I enjoy laughing, I enjoy being alive. Dark things from the dark are so dark, how do they find each other? Maybe they like it dark because they're so ugly. <laughs> and they're so ugly that they prefer not to see each other. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabuka ha sent me to the endless limits of Mabuka's den and I'm waiting for the Luciferns. I had to become friends with them or to be more precise, become one of them. Yeah, it's these, the little heads. Luciferns gather in filaments. That's why they look like they are growing hair and the big face is mostly for communication purposes and to scare their predators. I hope my body can survive the journey. That must be Mr. Leon sitting there. Are those the shiny insects? Where's the hair comb? October 2nd, 1878. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. What is this? The drawing to the left looks like an antenna. Oh no, somebody ripped off the rest of the book. I'll never know what happened to Mr. Leon. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's take a look at the throne. The throne of the king. I wonder if it's comfortable. I wonder why kings are always sitting. Maybe that's the only truth. To be a king, you must be seated. <laughs> oh, I love paper swirls. These are huge. I wonder why they have them. Maybe the wind requires them to show how strong it is. Oh, these flowers are huge. I wonder if they taste good. Mmm, tastes like honey. <laughs> oh, I see many clouds. Are those flying boats? But how? Maybe I'm imagining things. Or not. Okay. So what was back over here? This is where I came from, right? Yeah, so there's nothing really out here for me right now. Maybe I'll get some, like, travel abilities. Let's go off to the left. <gasps> Mr. Beetle, hello. <laughs> no, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Oh, closed? I didn't know. What's behind the passage? Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to uh, Polantris? <laughs> yes, that's me. Polantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of Atherstha, we open. Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Ah, so you don't learn anything while you're in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. 
Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Atherista. I guess you're not from around here. Well, hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. Bye. <laughs> okay. Let's look out this window. Mm, I see many clouds. Okay, so same thing. Same thing. There's not really anything else to interact with. Let's talk to our little kitty, Mr. Midnight. You told me that we have to find the mountain coach room and the great wizard. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Ooh. <laughs> I think tiny bees would love these flowers and kiss them a lot. That's great. Wow, this is a bit scary, but it's so beautiful. Almost feels like I could fly. Wish I could bring mommy and daddy here. They would love it. Interesting. Okay. Hmm, the flag is waving very hard. Hello to you! <laughs> okay. So what's up with this? Wow, I don't understand. One, two, three, four, five? Is this the five realities? It's the tree symbol, but I wonder what it says. I can always ask. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain coach room is? <laughs> yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. <laughs> well, tell me, please. Hmm, the mountain coach room is only in winter time. Ugh, winter time? What are you talking about? Hmm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? Oh, but how? Ugh, sorry, but I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right, thank you, sir. So I wonder if I can actually read this with the notebook. Trying to figure out the language here. Oh, no, no, this doesn't give me any, any information. <laughs> it's pronunciation. Okay, never mind. All right, uh, let's go down the stairs then. Then go straight, they said. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at this. Ooh, so many fish. They seem to be in a hurry. Where are you all going? Are you going home? Wish I could go home, too. Ah. So this is the island. So this is the mountain. Obviously, I need to go this way and then up. But there's probably a tree blocking the way. So I probably need to go all the way around. We have a boat. And that's where we were healed. That's the ground. A very big tree. A mountain. I think that's the castle. A boat, the beautiful paper swirls, an island, that's Palantris' home. I wonder if it says Etherste there. It must be. It's the ground. Okay. Interesting. Sadly, I can't read. <laughs> okay, so that's the way to the castle and the library. That seems to be the way to the market. And a mountain... A tree and a little water must be the woods. Okay. So, you know what? Let's uh, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go up here. Ah, this is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show the time. Well, I guess the time works differently here in Atherista. So, what do we do? Doesn't seem like there's a lot. Pull the lever? Hmm, sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But how does it work? Okay. Yeah, definitely need to do something. Let's go to the left. Ah. Okay, so we got the dock. And here's the boat. Wow, the lake's water is very clear. Wonder why there's no fish in there. Maybe they just don't like this water. Huh, I'd like to borrow that boat. Okay. There's going to be anything else here, so let's go back and off to the right. This is the way to the mountain, right? Oh, a basket. It's empty. Can't just take it. It's not mine. It's pretty, though. Hello! Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? 
<laughs> they're a bit sour for my taste, but lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. <laughs> fly, wow, I would like to try that, sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait, you can't rush it. Hey, the bar opens in fall and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will, sounds fun. Thank you, bye. Huh, uh, let's go off to the right somewhere. Let's check this out. Wait, actually, let's check this out. A sleepy tree, good night. Okay. Huh, it must say something important. It's like the party's about to start or something. Or maybe the prices of drinks you can buy. Oh, I wonder what this is. It looks like a tropical party place. Hope they open it soon. Excuse you. <laughs> These are the shields. Oh wow, what are you? You look the, like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings, the light of all material. We are Velokas. Ah, you're very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature, one of the young Velokas will receive the shield. Umbakma? Huh. Interesting. Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh. Where are y'all going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, mm, can you do magical things? <laughs> the universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. Interesting. <laughs> but, no, oh, don't cry. Dear, don't be sad. We have to keep going. All right. Yes, Kitty, you're right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so strange. So we have this big machine here. Oh, what a huge Velocus. It's not real, though. I wonder what they use it for. It has four arms. Maybe the great Velocus has four arms. Oh, this moves the arms of the Velocus. Incredible. Huh. Very strange. Feel like it's potentially going to make a like a bridge or something for us. But I have no context for what I need to do here, so let's continue forward over here. I, I did want to go to the market. Oh. Hi. You you going you going to talk to me? No? Okay. It shows a mountain. It must be Mountain Cotrim. Okay, before I go to the mountain, I do want to check out what was down here to my left. Ha ha ha! Okay, this is a cool place. <clears throat> Hello! Ah, who is there? Who? <laughs> uh, me, Fran. Can't you see me? Oh, now. I see a little. You have four eyes, wow. <laughs> four eyes, I don't have, uh, what are you selling? Only the best, very best plobus of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? <laughs> sure, they look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Poo that I collect, they are not coconuts. <laughs> poo, like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad, why? It's very yummy, we love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. <laughs> I have to get going now. Good luck with the plobus. Bye. <laughs> I guess it's he's not wrong. It's fertilizer. It's a good day for good fabric and thread. I am at your service. Okay. You gonna make me a shirt or something? Good. Thread and cloth to make stuff. And buttons. Is there anything else? Okay. We have a blacksmith over here. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Good day, I'm Pruder, and I'm molding the piece, this piece of iron. Ooh, for what? 
I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clockmaker. <gasps> I see. So you can do all kind of metallic stuff? Sure. If you have some ideas, we can talk about them and padam, I'll do it. Padam, padam. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, but if you need my services, you know where I am. All right. What's further off to the left? <gasps> Look at this little guy. Oh, it's a clock guy. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh no, I'm on a mission to go back home and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so from what part of a Thirsta are you? Are you from outside of the island? <gasps> no, I'm not from a Thirsta at all. I'm a human. Ooh, a human. That's new. I'll help you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See ya. Mmm, fresh and juicy pineapples. The ladybug has really huge melons. They look juicy. <laughs> Baby roots, you're gonna get eaten. Hmm, oranges give me a headache. That's strange. Ooh, to carry heavy things. Talk to you first before the clock guy. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? <laughs> I can't read a thirst. Uh, mm, what is a thirst's language called? Don't you know? It's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? <laughs> yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to Thirsta. I hope you'll have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Bye. Tick tock goes the clock. Many cogs inside this one. Ooh, a cuckoo clock. How pretty. All right, let's talk to you. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, <laughs> working on my clock. Hmm, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Hmm, and do you know where the mountain coachroom is? The mountain coachroom only exists in wintertime. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard should be in the mountain coachroom. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Ah, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. Where's the clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock under the tree. Good luck. But I already saw that clock and it was broken. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. Oh, hmm, then no clock will ever be fixed. Please, sir, as a favor, I need to go home. I can't help you then. Bring me a golden coin or nothing will be fixed. I see. Thank you. If I, uh, I'll see if I can get some gold for you. Bye. Interesting. Plants become beetles, become trees, become soil. It's just the circle of life, right? Mmm, a Thirsta's newspaper. How beautiful. Looks like they have only good news. Pictures are nice. I like the baby seed. Ooh, little boatman. Oh, look at the snail guy. You're pretty cool. Oh, he's got golden coins. Hello. Good day, young one. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? <laughs> the game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Velokas. Black and white as shadows and light. Is this a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immerse in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, eh? What do you say? Yeah, sure. What are the rules? First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? <laughs> sure, it sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? Time is gold and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Okay. So we're doing tic-tac-toe. 
and I go first. Um, shoot, I forget like the winning formula for tic tac toe. Let's go there. He go there. Um, if I go here, yeah, I'll win because he has to go there. And then I go here, and I win. Yay, gold coin! <laughs> Perfect. That's it, I'm done, right? <laughs> yeah, very well done, little creature. You are a master. Well, thank you. Look at this beautiful golden coin. I have one golden coins. I guess you can get multiples. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. Flying boats? I've seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water, but instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home? I see. Sadly, these boats will only work with Ithersthenes. Hmm, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Hmm. A boat ready to depart. Up and beyond. Woo! Hello, is anybody in there? I guess not. A lot of wood. Maybe they'll become a boat someday. Looks like a spider. Many legs crawling on my spine. Ugh. Weird comment. These must be extraordinary boats with special abilities. I wish I could fly back home with one of these. But I guess I can't. I don't have superpowers. Hello, little root. You are so cute. Oh, thank you. You're cute too. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm Fran and you? Me? No, I'm not Fran. I'm Zelma, and I want to sing all day long. What's your favorite song? My favorite song goes like this. One and one are two. One and two are three. Two and three are five. And three and five are eight. And I don't remember any more than that. I learned that at school. It's fun. Oh, that sounds very mathematical. I have to go now. You have beautiful fruits, by the way. See you. Mmm, delicious fruits and vegetables. They all look so tasty and fabulous. Maybe Aunt Grace can make a soup when I'm back home. Okay, well, I've got the golden coin. Let's go ahead and uh, give it to our friend here. Here, sir, your golden coin. Also, I realize my face is in the way of a lot of this text. I hope you don't mind. I'm not gonna move my face for all this because there's, there's text that happens in every corner of this game and I'm reading it. So yeah, what's that? I haven't fixed any of your clocks. Oh, but I thought you wanted a coin to fix the clock. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first, all right? Do it and be polite. <laughs> oh, Sir Clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock in exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of uh, time? I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer, very passionate. <laughs> Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's a weird looking guy. There he goes! There he goes! <laughs> I guess just talk to him. Hmm, you are right, the clock is broken. You can fix it, right? Of course, just a second. Oh, oh, oh! Hmm, yes, hmm, oh, there. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? I mean, somebody broke it. It's immoral, breaking a defenseless clock. Ugh. Why would somebody break it? Kamalas. Winter. Mountain Kotram. The stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Kamalas. The evil darkness. They work for Rimor. The terrible black. And Kamalas are the only ones allowed into this land. The only evil we have around. Wouldn't surprise me. Rimor wants the stones. But what I don't understand is... For what purpose? Those stones are meaningless for him and his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Remora a giant black monster with a goat mask? A dead goat mask? Yes, you know him? Yes, I think it's because of him I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Oh, a human, now I understand. Also, I need the stones. They are my way back home. I hope it's not too late. <laughs> That is why you need to go into wintertime and go to Mountain Kotrum. Yes, exactly. I have to talk with the Great Wizard and borrow the stones. Hmm. Well, it's fixed now. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Here. Ah. Is that my own personal clock? It's a remote control for the clock. Perfect. 
You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. <clears throat> but it's just a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinite layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please, call me Cogwind. All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> cool. Um, weirdos. I'm going to go up here first before I change the season. Because I am curious what all this kind of looks like. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. Okay, so instead of the pills now, we have all these different seasons. Oh, that paper swirl is huge. Okay, up we go. To the top of the mountain. But there's nothing here. Oh, what in the... Uh, oh, kitty, did you see that? Did you? Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? Uh, I, I think it's the shadows. Oh dear, I, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, kitty, they were all over the place in the hospital. I want to go home. We will go home soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Great, now we have to keep on going. Interesting. Okay. Summer time? Fall time? Oh, look. Mountaintop is very high because it's the top. Wonder what a talking mountain would sound like. Because it would sound very loud, like an earthquake. Okay, and then winter time. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Mr. Mountain, are you not going to wake up? Ah, I can go inside. Where are these footprints from? Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Clothes Hanger. You have no clothes on you. I think everybody in Aetherstil still likes to go around naked. I'm naked too, but it's okay. I'm not freezing. <laughs> Two big empty bottles. That's what they are. I don't understand, but I recognize some of the symbols. Plus, minus multiplication and other things. Must be some mathematical stuff. <clears throat> the Great Wizard is making something here. I wonder what. Maybe it's just soup. It smells lovely, like blueberries. Mmm. Spicy stuff. <laughs> My stomach always gets a lot of gas when I eat spicy stuff. But it's a funny feeling. I wonder. <coughs> Excuse me. They're choking. <coughs> I wonder what's in those bottles. It can be chocolate sauce or milk. Or maybe other things, like poison. You never know. Don't understand, but I'm in another reality, so it's okay. I can't waste time trying to understand things I, I can't. I should learn more about my own beautiful world. Ah, coal. I used to draw stuff on the driveway with coal. It also used to burn it. It's also used to burn it. Uh, we have bottle stuff to do magic with, I guess. That is uh, not being used. Got a bunny with a hat. What a lovely rabbit. I wonder if the wizard sewed it. He did a good job. I'll try to do my own when I get back home. An abacus made to solve mathematical stuff. What if you want to count more than 100? I guess you have to own more than one abacus. I don't really understand the experiment. It smells like cooked milk. Hmm. Must be something really complicated. <clears throat> I see a human skull. Hello, I'm not the only human here. But maybe that human never found the way back home. I'm in big trouble. Ooh, maybe it's, uh, what's-his-face that owned the diary? Okay, let's talk to you now. <clears throat> Ooh, are you the great wizard, sir? Dot, dot, dot. Sorry, sir, I'm Fran, and I need your help. Is this the mountain Cotrim? Dot, dot, dot. Excuse me, can you talk? You have too many questions, that's good. Oh, sorry, sir. The king told me that you could help me. What the king says, we do. Mm-hmm. I need you to lend me the stones to open a door to my world. Stones are missing, and I... I don't remember where they are. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget, so they can't be found. Oh, I see, but maybe I can help you find them. I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? <laughs> I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? This is the greatest question of them all. 
Because if nothing exists, then the nothing exists. But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I have a visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Wizard? <laughs> Excuse you. That means me, just so you know. <laughs> Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came asking around for those. I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find them. You know, the black shadows, the Kamalas. They try to steal them all the time. So I have to be sure. But sir, I need the stones. This is not my home. <clears throat> hmm, the stones are hiding. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. Four riddles that will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find five items. These items are the stones in their layered reality. Then the only one who can bring them back is me. Oh, that was a lot of information, sure, sir. It sure was. Let me show you. Okay. This is the Star of Athirsta. Umkabe, the greatest guide in the sky. Okay. The greatest caretaker of this land. Hmm, and what do I have to do, sir? What are the riddles? I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Place the items on the Star of Atherstha on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the stones are. I'm cold as I... Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, Sir Wizard. Oh, Sir Wizard. The king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? Hmm, I think that's true. I barely remember how to do it, though. You don't remember? But I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. Perhaps we can try to make you a human again after you find the first stone. Oh, that would be incredible. Yes, incredible and great. Just try to figure out the riddles and I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become a human? Mm, I think the smell is very important if I remember correctly. So, bring me your clothes and we'll see how it goes. Can you explain the riddles again? I forgot what to do. Okay, just place the correct answers in the correct spot in the star. When you complete that, I can explain more to you. Now, the rabbit science is waiting for me. Okay. Cool. Let's read the note, then. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, maybe? One... Oh, it's only four. Sorry. So number one, I'm cold as I am, but if you use me... I'll be burning hard. Is it wood? Or coal? I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Lemons? <laughs> Lemonade? Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. It's a fish. Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. Light and hollow. It's a feather. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Or so it seems. So let's leave. I like the music in there. It's very, very cool. So I wonder if there's anything worthwhile to see. Oh, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Is your lemonade all done? Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? Uh, hello, sir. I don't have a ticket. How can I get one? What? All of Thirsta citizens get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Mm, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen. That's new. To new too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. All right, sir. I understand. But what can I do, then? I really would like to go inside. I don't know. This never happens before. Mm, I guess I'll have to find my own way to get inside. Thank you. Bye. Interesting. Uh, no, sorry. Let me stay out here. We got fall. Winter, it's just gone. If we come out here, it's still winter time. Nothing much to do. Back to summer. Or, uh, spring. Summer. 
fall. I'm not seeing any changes. That's what I'm looking for right now. And then winter. Weird. Oh! A little ladder? Hmm. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. <laughs> okay. How about... Spring! Nothing springtime here. Oh, he's getting his lemon. I recognize this kind of tree. Aunt Grace had one at home. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? <laughs> I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon's resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. Oh. Well, I want a lemon, please. Don't leave. No, don't leave! Curses. It's a lemon tree. They're very delicate. Aunt Grace's tree got very sad in wintertime. Huh. Interesting. I can't use the ladder here. It's gonna fall. Don't have any need to climb it. Basket seems to be in good shape. That's good. Winter time. He's still here. So, what happens if I just kind of run through this dialogue again and let him move off to the other space? He's gonna take the basket. He's gonna go off to the right. And I guess I can follow him. No, no, please, I wanna go in too. Guard told me that I need a ticket to go inside. Ah, uh, okay. So I need to get lemons. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? Palantra, sir. Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looked really bad, Kitty. Wasn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. I wonder what happened. Okay, well, there's a feather for us. Oh, this is... This Palantra's his feather. I hope he gets better soon. It has blood on it. Interesting. It's a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Okay, fall. And schwinter. So these are the different stones. Right? Let's go off to the left. Ah, we have the boat now. Oh, look, kitty, get in the boat. We're going for a ride. Oh, sweet. Is this how we're going to get our clothes back, maybe? I would hope so. Oh, this is fun. Woohoo! <laughs> This is very fun. Um, okay. Oh wow, that island is very tiny. Wonder if somebody could live there. I guess tiny creatures, like almost invisible ones. Ah, yeah, okay. So we are here. Oh, Fran, this is where we were before. I fixed the bridge to get your purse. Wow, kitty, you're clever. I hope we find many things. Sweet. So we can't use the clock here. But I can get all of my clothes. The smell. Kitty, I can't find my pills. Maybe the pills are not here. Maybe you lost them. Well, they weren't doing me any good anyways. Maybe they will appear someday. Let's keep going now. Yes, I found you, my dear clothes. Come to your one and only something. They smell fine. I don't need to wash them. Can't use them on myself. This won't work. Ooh, that must be the castle. Looks like a pineapple from here. What if it tastes like one too? That's funny. All right, cool. So that should solve that puzzle. So we're done there. Jump in the boat. Let's go, kitty! Swim all the way back. Get back over here. Oh, look at this. We got these moons off in the distance. That's really cool looking. Fall. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. So now that it's fall, I want to see if there's anything else over here I can look at. Because I can't adjust the clock when we're off on this area. Hmm. Okay. It's wor worth a check. Worth checking it out. Come on, Mr. Midnight. You always take forever. And then if the boat is still there for winter, I am going to swim back as well. Oh, there's a fishing pole. 
I didn't even see that. Oh, fishing rod seems to be broken. It doesn't have a hook and the fishing line is too short. <gasps> ah, okay, so fish, my assumption for the fish was right. Hmm, covered in snow and ice. I can't sail with this one. Okay. We already saw this. Let's go down here. <laughs> Come closer, Fran. I have the one thing you desire. I have what you are looking for. Um, mother? Mommy? Is that you, mommy? My beloved daughter, come closer. Let me feel you. Mommy, I'm scared. There's nothing to be afraid of. You have to come closer, Fran. I want to kiss you. But you can't be my mother. She's dead. You have to come closer now. If you don't, the big monster will come and get you. No, you're not my mommy. Leave me alone. My darling, the big monster will come and get you. He will come and get you. He will come and get you. Mommy, you're scaring me. Mommy, stop it, please. What the heck? Okay. Well then. So that was winter time. <laughs> so this is where the fish are. So we saw the fish here. Summertime doesn't seem to change. And fall. Okay, so let's go back up into the castle. We can go to the library at least. The library. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. <laughs> He's a snowman now. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Are you having fun? It's a little cold. You want to go inside? Maybe he can't hear me because he has no ears. <laughs> Interesting. So I keep seeing someone. Wow, oh, this is a bit scary. Okay. I see a carrot man fly by or different people. That was a lemon guy, I think. <gasps> I can go in here now. What are you talking about? Stop right there. Do you have the password? Oh no, what password? The library password, of course. You must have it to come inside. I didn't know the I didn't know I needed a password. Of course you need a password. A certain wizard can help you. Mm, Alright, see if I can find the password then. Bye. Okay, interesting. So not much has changed around here. Oh! Oh, 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 the throne has different fruits, I think, for the different seasons. Winter is the strawberry. I want to see if that actually is a correct assumption. So none of this changes based on where we are. So strawberries? No, it's always strawberries. Nothing different here. Yeah, nothing different here. Got it. So we need to go back to the wizard. I mean, at least I can get one stone and potentially turn back into a human. But I do want to explore some of these other pathways. Like, I need him to make something, I believe. But why would... <sighs> Shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Hmm. Maybe it's just metal. Use the riddles with the smith. Uh, I won't do. Okay. Check the fall, and then check winter. So they're all gone in winter time. Everything looks closed. Everyone must be inside their homes for sure. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's so quiet in the winter time. Bench to sit on when you're old and want to feed the birds. Or just because you get tired. But I'm not tired. Because I'm very young. Oh, so the clockmaker is not here during fall. That's an interesting note. To winter. Still water, surprisingly. And then summer. Nothing at all. 
Okay, well, let's head on back up because I have the feather. I need to find something that will allow me to get a password to go into the library. And I think I can become human right now. So let's check this out. All right, examine. Light and hollow, freedom birds, pen of men. So that is the left hand needs the feather. This is four for sure. Place Polonius's feather right here. Okay. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Oh. Oh, I can't use it on myself. Interesting. Can I just put anything anywhere? Not sure if this is the right answer for any of the riddles. There you go, little tiny match. I hope this is right. Oh. Oh, did that actually work? Cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a match. Got it. So that's number one. Number two, I'm shiny as the sun. Don't know that one. This is a bird. Oh, sorry, bird. <laughs> this is the fish. This is the feather. Shiny as the sun. I'll never burn you. No. Okay, I got two of them. Can you explain the riddles again? I forgot what to, what to do. Oh. Wait, what? I can't get out with this in front of me. <laughs> Wonder why the cave only opens during winter time. Should be open in summer when it's warm, but no! Huh. So I wonder if there's different things to talk about. Oh, dang it. Weird. Very weird. Has blood on it, so maybe I need to wash this. Where'd the match go? Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can... You can put it anywhere you want, but it does actually let you know that it's a proper item. If you can kind of put it down. So, of all the things that I have, I have two of the four items. So, again, the feather... <clears throat> Light and hollow. I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. So that's four with three dots. It's right there. So that is 100% the feather. Number one. That looks like one, so it must be. Cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Number one is up top, and that is number one. So that has to be a match. There you go, a little tiny match. I hope this is right. And then the only other two are going to be a fish. Okay, can't combine it with anything, so I do need to find something else. Interesting. Okay. Um. Well, let's leave then, I guess. Go back up. I'm a little lost right now. So how do I get inside? 
Let me try messing with the robot here again. Interesting. Hmm. Let's concentrate on the riddles, my friend. I can always help you. Well, please help me. There's got to be somewhere I have not yet explored, right? Look, maybe I can take his basket before... So he's getting a lemon right now. I don't have any need to climb that ladder. Negative. So I'm, I'm like trying to think like maybe I can destroy his ladder or destroy his basket before it's lemon time? I can't do that. Maybe put a hole in the basket? Mm, things not working makes me angry. <sighs> Nothing here. So I already went across and grabbed all the things. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe I need to use something on the great wizard, like my clothes. I didn't, I didn't even think of that. Um, Mr. Wizard, the great wizard. Ooh, smelly clothes, I can't make you human yet. We have to find the first stone, okay. Sir, please tell me a clue or something. I need your help. Help, I am already helping you. If you want me to solve things for you, then you wouldn't be learning anything. Time and space are great, and the answers can be everywhere. But they are always there. I'm sure you'll find the answers. Never give up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Let's stab him. <laughs> I don't want to hurt anybody. Am I supposed to combine something else then? Abacus, cookery, magician's hat, rabbit. I guess I never really looked at the magician's hat. Notes, skulls, bottles, hair, spices, notes, bottles. Oh, I didn't look at the numbers yet. I guess that's one thing. The coal, bottles, that's pretty much it. A magician's hat, I wonder whose hat it is. I've seen that skeleton in a top hat before. Maybe it's his. Maybe that skeleton is a magician. Are those a bunch of numbers? Uh, ones or something else? Maybe the wizard is obsessed with sticks. Uh, but it also looks like an equals sign. One equals one. Hmm. Weird. So what do I do? I'm very confused. Can I pick up anything in this region or this area? I don't know what I'm supposed to do with you. <clears throat> and again, I can't enter into here. I can't enter without a ticket. If we're looking around here, there's, <clears throat> there's nothing really to interact with. Okay, let me try talking to you again. Would you like to join me in the waiting? Oh, I can't. I have to go home. Home? You are at home, my friend. The universe is your home. 
Well, that's very nice thought. Uh, what does that smell? Ooh, whoopee! My farts! So the darkness won't haunt me, you know? <laughs> it's weird though, I see no darkness. My goodness, it's really bad. <laughs> well, I have to go, bye. <laughs> Why is he farting at me? So we're gonna take one of your lemons. <clears throat> okay, so we need a ticket in order to get a lemon. So we know that for sure. But how to get a ticket? No clue. Absolutely no clue. Maybe there is something else. I can't catch any fish with this fishing rod. It's broken. Yeah. You! You can make me a hook for the fishing rod. Sir, look, I found a fishing rod, but it's broken. Can you help me? Let me see. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that goes with this rod? Huh? You just said the exact same thing someone else did back in the hospital. Wait, what? What? So th that that kind of proves my theory that we are still in the hospital for all of this. Really? Who? What hospital? The Oswald Asylum, sir. The nurse. When I broke the curtain. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, I have no idea of what you're talking about. You're quite strange. Well, let's forget about it. Can you please make me a hook for the fishing rod? Yes, let's do it. If I give you... Uh, if you give me one coin, I can give you half a hook. If you give me two coins, you'll get an entire working hook. I don't need half a hook, I need the whole thing. The whole thing will cost you three coins. One coin for half a hook and two for the working one. Deal? Oh, sir, you are complicated. I'll bring you coins soon. Bye. Ow. Oh. Okay. So we gotta play with this dude some more. Ooh, tiny figures, black and white. Hello again, would you like to play once more? Yes. It was fun. Okay. So he's going first now. He's using my same trick, so let's go in the middle. Uh, okay, he won. Maybe? This is gonna be a tie. It's a draw, it's a draw! Okay. Do I go first? Okay, now I go first. So let's put it there. Oh, interesting choice. Inter interesting choice. If I put it here, he has to go there. Yep. And then I'll put it here. And then I win. Yay, golden coin! Perfect. He goes first. I feel like I just have to tie him. Maybe? Yeah, can't go that way, can't go that way, can't go that way. Yeah, he just screwed it all up. Let's just put it there. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, put it in the corner. Interesting choice. Yep, there we go. Haha! -ha. Another coin for me! Lovely. Oh, I go first again. Okay. And we win. Let's a go. Yay! Three coins! Perfect. Well, I'm glad it's just easy tic-tac-toe. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Thanks. I know I am. Okay, let's go back to the blacksmith. Hello. Hello, I'm Fran. What are you doing? Oh, dang it. Uh, all right, bye-bye. Okay, let's go ahead and use it on you. Here are your three coins, sir. Wonderful, thank you. Here's your hook. I hope it works fine. Sweet. Thank you, sir. It's perfect. I have to go now. Bye. And then are you going to give me thread? It's a good day for fabric and thread. I'm at your service. Almost. I need something to tie it. Yep. <clears throat> Hello, miss. I'm wondering if you have some thread for fishing line. Do you? Fishing line. Thread. Yes, yes, I have some. Do you want it? 
<gasps> yes, please. How much is it? Well, quite a lot. Is that good? Oh, I meant price-wise, miss. I only need enough for fishing line. Oh, I forgot to think about a price. You see, I've never sold anything before. But you know what? You can have it. Hope it makes you happy. Oh, so nice. Didn't have to work at all, do tic-tac-toe. Oh, wow. Thank you, miss. I hope you settle some prices and sell something soon. Bye. Oh, so nice. Combine with this. Combine with this. I did it. This is grand. I'll call you the fish extractor. Go back here. Let's try to catch some fishies. <laughs> Look at us go. I caught a fish. I'm very sorry. Fish that's dead now. Poor fishy. So that is number three. Cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. And the final one. Shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Are lemons shiny as the sun? <laughs> I don't think so. It says what everyone learn in the precise moment of birth, but we forget its meaning with the first seven minutes alive. So we have to spend our entire life trying to understand it. Oh, but what does it say? I can't read it. Power, the understanding of wisdom. Truth lays in the path forward, uh, path toward the power of understanding. Wisdom comes silently. Oh, and what does it mean? I, I haven't figured it out yet. Oh, well, thank you, bye. Okay. Interesting. So obviously I'm gonna be need to give you a ticket. Oh my gosh, is it this? I won't even try that. Are you sure? Oh, 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 oh. I didn't know that. Who knows the password? Do you know who has the password? Yes, the great wizard, of course. He knows everything. Hmm. All right, see if I can find the password then. I think I just figured out our other puzzle for the lemons, the lemonade. Um, let's go all the way back. Check this out. Check this out. I, I don't know. I don't actually know. But I'm, I'm testing and I'm trying. Okay. Okay, get your lemon. Go inside, please. Okay, we're just going to skip through this. Make him start moving. And as soon as he grabs the ba uh, basket, I'm going to go to the right. Okay. And then for you, what if I combine... I could draw a flying boat or paper swirls. Nah, maybe later. Let's use this with you. I can't show this. The text on it can give us trouble. Ah, okay. Well, that didn't work. Exterminator. I got that, Mr. Anton, but the text is almost gone. That's good. I was wondering if maybe that, like, we could draw on it to make it the new ticket. Fish that's dead now. Poor fishy. Weird. So what do I do here? So this is, this is like, the, the major key that I have not figured out. I can't interact with any of the hands or anything right now. What if I... Won't do. I'm just going to test a couple things here. Negative. This won't work. Can't do that. Or you did the knife. Cram? I'm not sure what to do with that. Oh, sorry. This does this. I wonder if there's anything worthwhile in here. Probably not. Won't work. Yeah, what if I give you the picture of my family? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? 
Stab him! <laughs> okay. Weird. Flow, flow, cold blooded sun. So this bottom left is the fish. Fish, use that right. Here, there goes the dead fish. Hmm. Poor fish. And then the final one must be two. It's very logical. Two. Shiny as the sun, I'll never burn you. Perhaps a smile, sour smile, I'll get you. It. Okay. Okay. I've got one other. One other guess at this point, and it's that I need to somehow clean the knife so that it's shiny. You know. It seems to be very thin. Even the thought of walking on it makes me nervous. Well, I don't need to do it, and I won't do it. Negative. This won't work, huh? <sighs> what do I do? <sighs> I'd like to go back there. I don't know how though. And the king won't return. Not yet. This will take us to the boat. No, it'll take us here. What if I try to give you the knife? Keep my knife away. I don't want to hurt anybody. Hello. Hmm. Forget it. Bye. I want everyone back. Hello, Mr. Cogwind. Hello, Fran. I'm in a hurry. We can talk later. Okay. Hello, human. Say hello to your world for me when you get there. There goes Fran the tourist. Have fun. I'm very lost right now. Hello, Zelma. Can you repeat the song you sang for me? One and one are two, one and two are three, two and three are five, blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you, bye. Is it just gold? It, it's probably just gold, isn't it? Oops. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, dang it. <laughs> um, sure, I'll go here. Interesting choice. So if I go here, he has to go there. Yep. And then if I go here, I win. Yep. Achievement locked faster than a snail. Okay, yeah, so seeing as how I just got an achievement for that final one, I feel like the gold coin is the final piece of this puzzle. Right? Right? <laughs> I'm at a loss here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this works. And then once I'm human, he can explain to me the password to get into the library. Uh, we can figure out how to get the token or the, the, the pass to get into the lemonade shop. <clears throat> Let's see, please, for the gold. Oh, no, no! I have one golden coin. Oh, dang it. Nothing, of course, what was I thinking? Oh, dang it. Oh, I was really, really hoping that would work. 
It's really, really hoping that would work out. Okay. Well, what if we try to give you a cold coin? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? <laughs> okay, can we bribe the library guy? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, 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 I know, I know. Okay, library password. I don't know that. A certain wizard can help you. How about a golden coin? Is our friend out here? talk to kitty uh, you say that you can always help me but how kitty how kitty help me out I know you love riddles but do you think you can help me with these depends there are things that my cat brain can't understand um, riddles one and two I know kitty well help me with riddles one and two all right all right let's hear it Riddle two. I'm shiny as the sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. Hmm, it has to be something round, yellow and sour for sure. See, I already knew this. I already knew. It's the lemon. Do I pay the lemon man? Do I give him a gold coin for the lemon? Before he takes it? Is that what I do? I can't do that. <sighs> Things not working makes me angry. <laughs> Stab him. <laughs> Stab him. <laughs> okay. I I'm, I'm not going to make you all sit and watch me struggle with this. So I'm going to do my best to get through this. And uh, I'll jump back in if I find the solution. When I find the solution. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kitty, I'm going to do something, so act natural. Oh my gosh. Oh, the basket won't carry all the lemons now. I tried doing this earlier, didn't I? I tried using the knife on the basket. Oh, see, I, I even said it out loud. I was like, oh yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with it so that something happens. <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and accidentally dropped a lemon. I think I'll keep it. Shiny, juicy lemon. My goodness. Oh, there it goes. Into nothingness. Do I have to cut the lemon? Squeeze the juices out. Okay, use. No. Combine with you. No, okay, go, go, go. Cool. Back to this. Let's get the lemon. Use it here. Mm, there goes the lemon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I smell victory. I smell delicious victory. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I'm ready. Let's bring the stones back. <laughs> yes. We'll start with the fire. Oh. Cool. Kotram has awakened. Kotram is alive. On the top of the mountain, we'll... Uh, he will be waiting for you. He has my lovely wizard hat. Bring it to me. Uh, your hat? <laughs> yes, the stones are hiding in my wizard tools. That's why I can't remember a thing. <laughs> but now I'm remembering. Go to the top of the mountain and find Kotrum. And come back when you have the hat. Then we can do other things. All right, sir. I'll bring your hat. Uh, what about my human body? You said we were going to do it. Mm. Oh, we have to find the first stone. That's right. My bad. Go drum. You got a wizard hat up here? He does. Oh, look at him. Ah, who dares to wake me up? Who? 
Oh my goodness, you're alive. Sorry to bother you, sir. I'm Fran. Fran, I see. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really know what it means. It's just my name. Oh, all right. Mine is Kotrum. Do you want to know why? <laughs> sure. Tell me. Kotrum means born in heaven. I used to be a star. And because I was born in space, it's very logical. Everybody says it's very logical. Wow, I've never met a star in person. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, friend. So, what brings you here? <gasps> the great wizard told me to get the hat. So if you don't mind. Mm, I can't do that. I'm divorced. <laughs> what do you mean divorced? I just need the hat, sir. It's very important. I can't. If I give you the hat, the entire land will suffer. Ooh, you have to find another way to get home. The king told me that there's no other way. Please help me. I told you I can't. My wife left me. She was the one covering my top. If I take off the hat, my magma can erupt and kill everyone, including you. <gasps> Where's your wife now? Maybe I can make her come back. She, she decided that it was time for her to start her own island. Ah, so she broke up with me. I didn't get the chance to ask her why. I miss her so much. Oh, oh, so now she's her own island, hmm? Do you know where she is? I think she's on the water. Otherwise I would very strongly feel her presence. But I don't. Oh, my love, my beloved wife. I'll go see if I can find her, all right? Then give you, then you give me the hat. Only if she comes back. Otherwise, you know what can happen. Can I put something else on top of your head, sir? <laughs> like a rock or something instead? No, I like this hat. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. <laughs> cool. All right, let's... <laughs> I know you're all alone. Let me be your mommy. Let me feed you. Come to my side, and you will have many new friends to play with. I don't want you as my mommy. You look very scary, and I don't like you. Fran, who are you talking to? Huh? The woman standing there. Uh, it's nothing, kitty. <laughs> so strange. So strange. <clears throat> okay, let's get on the boat. Let's go talk to the island. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat. I, I, there's a lot of talking in this game. <gasps> Hello? Hello, miss? Wake up, I have a message for you. Oh, hello, a messenger? What a good day! Yes, miss, I'm the messenger of love. <gasps> love? Oh, but you are not pink. <laughs> pink? No, I'm the brown and green love messenger. <laughs> and does the messenger of love have something to share? Yes, of course. I'm here in the name of love to bring you back to your husband. No, he made me very sad. Nobody has the right to make me sad. I understand, but what did he do to you? He was so hot, and I fell in love with that. But lately, he was cold and boring, so I f felt left aside. I cried so many times. He used to grow a beautiful red flower just for me, to show his love for me. But this year, nothing came up. And you know what? I'm the one protecting him all the time, so I want some credit for that. That's all. <coughs> but miss, if I find that flower for you, would you come back? I guess, but I have no hope. Besides, I'm the ruler of my own island now. I'll go see... If I can find the red flower. Do you know where it grows? Always at the bottom. It's very different from all other flowers. The bottom of what, miss? My husband's bottom, of course. Bring it to me, and I'll sh I shall return to him. All right, fine. <laughs> so much back and forth here. <clears throat> so I need to go to his bottom. Is this his bottom, and is that the flower? It looks like it. This flower is blooming very slowly. There it is. This must be the flower that I need. I can't take it with my hands. It has powerful thorns. Well, let's use a knife on it. Hey, it's like warm love. S smells funny. Okay. Okay, let's go all the way. <clears throat> Back to the island. Give her the flower. Sorry, I have something, some phlegm in my throat or something from all of this narration and talking. I'll probably just start using normal voices for all these people. Miss, I found it. Look, look, the red flower. Oh, thank you very much. It looks so beautiful. You are indeed a great messenger of love. Thank you, miss. We should go back to your husband right away. He really misses you. I'll see you there in wintertime. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, winter time we go. Oh, it didn't go. There we go. So calm, so serene. Let's go all the way back up. All the way back up. Ah, yes. Here you are. Hee hee, it's very nice to see you two together. Now I would like to have the hat, please. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Come on, my darling, climb on top. She went unlock Dr. Love. Oh. And here's the hat. Thank you again. Wizard hat. Yay. Wow, thank you, sir. I have to go and give the hat to the great wizard now. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, great wizard. I got your stinky hat. What do you want from me now? <clears throat> Here you go. Here's your hat, sir. Oh, my hat. I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. I feel happy. That's great, sir. What's next? The gift from the soil. The fruit. The lemon. Okay. The creation of selective random elements. So we can't... So we can eat. Beautiful, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, it's incredible. Yes, the fruit is talking to me now. It says that the book... My book of knowledge, it's in the library. But beware... The book may be hiding, so you have to be persistent and patient. Good sir, I'll go to the library then. Wait, there's a password you'll need to get inside. Let me think. Think, it must be something about how we learn, or, hmm. Ah, I remember the password is, your basic senses are easy manip easily manipulated. Shut them down before learning. <laughs> uh, I'll try to remember that. What does it mean? It means that many times we let our understanding be manipulated. We should always try to use our common sense. Nobody should ever tell you what to think or believe. Be hungry for knowledge and you'll find yourself in constant evolution. That will make you free to cherish every second of your life. Ah, I think it's very fun to think and learn. And being curious helps a lot. I'll be going to the library now to find your book. Uh, sir, can you turn me back into a human, please? <laughs> Here, sir, my clothing. Hmm, let's, let me smell this. <laughs> this can work. We will make a human. <gasps> this is so exciting. Good, now go to the center of the star of Aethersta. And think about your body, your head, your leg, and the other leg, and your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. Are we actually turning back? Randomly selected elements, find your path to your true essence. Become Fran the human, now. <gasps> <laughs> what the heck? Huh. Are you alright? Uh, what happened? Is it done? Oh wow, thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Uh, yes, that's my name. Great wizard because of the greatness. <laughs> well, thank you again, sir. This really is grand. See you soon. My darling Fran, you are human again. Welcome back. Thank you, kitty. This feels great. Anything else I need to give to him? I don't think so. To the library. Let's go find his special, special book. Why don't we? And it's winter time, so we have the right timing. A lot of things happen in winter here. Okay. Do you remember, Fran? You are a murderer. It's the twins. You are a nutty little girl. Nutty girls must be punished. Do as I say, do as I do, Fran. Jump. I, I didn't want to kill them, I didn't want to. Oh my dear, don't listen to those evil things. You're strong. So Mr. Midnight can see now. Let them out of your head, my dear. My crazy kitty? Tell me. No, my dear. You just have to be strong. Don't let them play with your head. Oh, my kitty. I feel completely broken. My chest hurts. Oh, my dear. I'm here for you. Don't cry. I love you so much. I love you too, my dear. We should keep going now. Let's go to the library. Weird. Are right, you going to let me in now? Stop right there. Do you have the password? Yes, I do. Yes, all right. What is the password? Let me remember the words. It was something like... 
Your eyes and ears are limited sensors. Shut them down before learning. Hmm, good. And why is that? If you let me in, I'll know. Because only then we can really see. It's like the city. It was invisible to me before. Knowledge is everywhere, even in darkness and silence. You can come inside. Have fun. <gasps> Finally! All right, what's the library? Ooh, look at these fun little people. Okay, so they do change. So they're here in fall and winter, and that's it. Let's talk to each of them. Hello, what are you reading? A book with many letters. Sometimes I think some letters look very scary. Maybe you should read something with many pictures instead. Ah, uh, yes. Some other day, dear. Now, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> what about you? Hello. Oh, hello. Why aren't you reading? <gasps> ah, because I need to find a special book first. Ah, special books are very nice. This one I'm reading is also very special. Hmm, that's great. Well, I'll keep searching for my special book then. And what about you? Hello, sir. What are you doing? Ah, I'm looking for my special book. <laughs> oh, sorry to ask, but why are you standing on the ladder? You have wings. <gasps> ah, because the ladder was made to be used, of course. But what if I need to use it? Then you should wait your turn. But what if it's an emergency and I can't wait that much? Then you should have arrived earlier than me. Sorry, but I have to keep looking. Okay, then what is this contraption? Oh, okay. So this is one, there are two ones. Oh. One plus one is two. Oh no, it's the song. One plus two is three. Three plus two is five. But how do I know? Oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Oh, this is grand. It must be the Ithirsten numbers. One plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five is the E. Um, five plus three. That, that is three, right? One plus one is two. One plus two is three. So line with two dots. Line, line with two dots. Yeah, that's three. Three plus five, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it'd be E with two dots. Is that is that what I'm getting at here? E with two dots, and then <clears throat> E with E plus two dots. E with E plus two dots. That's five and seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 12, 10, uh, uh, X, I, is this one? Ah, oh, I did it. Oh, wow. I'm so great. I have to turn the lever now. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Lever. I'm confused. I won't climb again. I could break my neck if I fall. Wait, what? Oh, a uh, hi. <laughs> oh. Does her dress have things like a straitjacket? Excuse me, sir, I need the book. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. Oh, this looks interesting. Can't read the text, though. Recognize the four seasons and the creatures. I guess the great wizard likes to draw. Oh, I wish I could understand. Maybe it says that it is good to look at the trees. So this is conjoined twins. What is this? I never saw a skeleton having a baby. <laughs> Seems that the baby will be born with a big head. Big headed persons are nice, just like me. Weird. 
this is like a sch schematic for uh, like electronic mechanisms. This one looks like a cycle of some kind. Yeah, the cycle of life. Wonder what it means. Years, maybe? I like to think that there are five of me, so maybe that's it. Five real five realms, five realities? The monster. It seems people love him. Why would people love an evil monster? Maybe they're scared. Pfft. Fear makes us do such stupid things. Weird. Okay, can I leave then? I guess so. See you later! Winter time. Very weird. Very weird one here. All right, time to climb up the mountain. Give the wizard his book. And then we just have two more stones. I'm curious what I need for the rest of the stuff. All right, great wizard, here is your book. Hope you enjoy it. Kitty, get off the fish. <laughs> Sir, here's your book. It was inside the musical box. I saw the doll. <laughs> the it word clock. Sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. Oh, it word. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, fish in the water. Okay. Fish, fish swimming free. Go back, little fish. Go home. Oh, there's a hole now. Wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings, like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But the circumstances are often not positive. I see, sir. Hmm. So we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of an amazing dancer. Do you know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. I think I know. I'll go and see. So... How do I get into the club? <laughs> Hello again, did you find your special ticket yet? The show is about to begin. This text on it can give us trouble. Can I combine these now? I could draw a flying boat or paper swirls. No. The guard told me that I need a ticket to go inside. Music is so loud, and so is my curiosity. I want to go inside. I really, really want to see. Okay, I wonder how in the whole world will we get the dancer's shoes? We'll figure it out. Let's go to the bar to see if the show has already begun. But I can't get in there! <laughs> don't have anything! Who's gonna give me a ticket? That's the real question. Who can I get a ticket from? I'm gonna talk to you again. Is he still too busy? Yep, he's in a hurry. Do I do? You think the king will be back, maybe? Still no king. I haven't gone back over here since we've completed two of the stones. Nothing. Okay. Bummer. I'm gonna go back in here. I see so many books. I don't think the Great Wizard's book is on the shelves. Was it that the book maybe hiding? Okay. 
Let's see so many books. Yeah. I already solved that. I should return the lever. I'm trying to see if anything's changing in here with the different seasons, maybe? Huh. Weird, so he only comes out in fall? Or just doing it a certain amount of times. So confused. I'm so confused. So where could I possibly go right now? Do that. There's a reason I still have this ticket. There's a reason I still have this ticket. Won't even try that. Don't need anything from the shop. Trying out things is good, but it's not gonna work. Can't be done. Clever enough to find a solution. Nobody's in there. Let me just try combining once more. Drop the line. Oh, paper swirls. No, maybe later. Okay, let me, uh, my only other attempt right now. You know what, here, bef before I, I give up and go back to the... Oh, is the boat done for? It looks very old, I guess I can't use it. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah, we, we can't go back anymore. Oh, very interesting. Okay, so yeah, my what my only other guess was going to be is see if maybe there's something that has appeared during a section with the... with the boat area? Like our original location? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, there was a hole behind the firewood! Why is the firewood gone suddenly? Oh, we can go inside. Come on, Kenny, go inside and remember, I need a ticket to get in, too. So maybe you can take somebody else's. But I don't want to steal. I'll just borrow it, Kitty. You can give it back later, all right? Mm hmm, all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> we are Kitty now. That's amazing, a self-playing piano. It's a tiki bar. That's a face on the wall. Okay. Well, that's a lot of people. Well, that's scary. Giant fleas. No, thank you. Hello, lady. Can I borrow your ticket, please? Because my ticket disappeared. Uh, I can't. I'm using it as a <gasps> coaster. <laughs> this lemonade is very good. Uh, but why? You have to... You have a table to put the glass on. Uh, I don't like the sound of the <gasps> glass against the table. I see. And you like this lemonade very much, right? Yes. <gasps> uh, I drink it because it's <gasps> refreshing. <laughs> Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to listen to the <clears throat> music. <laughs> oh, of course. Goodbye. <laughs> Audience is waiting for the action. Okay, same thing. Same thing. Ladybug? This ladybug is the tiniest I've seen around, besides the flies. A little moth? A moth. I used to eat those, but I won't this time. That's the dancer. 
This is the bartender. He's working. Okay. There goes the dancer. That's a face on the wall. Oh, oh, get the beast ticket. Hey, I guess that's a, that is a ticket. I should take it. Yes. <laughs> Looks like a ticket. I should give it to Fran. Okay, let's leave. Thank goodness. I have the ticket. I have it. You are incredible, kitty. I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Sweet. There we go. Maybe this can work. I worked before and it's lovely. Ticket. Fran plus kitty can go in party. <laughs> cool. I knew that was supposed to be done that way. The guard told me that I need a ticket to go inside. Yes, 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 yes. Here is the ticket. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Hmm. I see, but you simply drew it yourself. <gasps> yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. <laughs> Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you go in. Enjoy the show. <gasps> Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. And should I give the bee his ticket back? Here's your ticket, miss. Sorry, but I took it, and I wanted to give it back. Oh, goodness, you are very <laughs> nice. Thank you very much. Tuna locked the kind thief. Oh. Hello, sir. I need your shoes. <laughs> Why won't you answer me, please? He's concentrating, I think. Ah. <sighs> okay, different time. Oh. Hold on. Okay, now I can talk to him. Hello, dancer, mister. I really need to take your shoes. And why is that? The shoes belong to the dancer. I'm a dancer, and I need them to uh, dance with the wizard. Oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? I want your shoes. <laughs> you want what? A little lemonade. You seem to be a little tense. No, sir, I don't want lemonade. Where did you get your shoes from? Mmm, you should drink a little lemonade, at least to drown your thirst. Sir, let me explain. I need your shoes. The wizard needs them. Ah, uh, but that's impossible. I can't give you my shoes. The only way to get my shoes is to take them from me. And as you see now, I'm standing on them, so it's impossible. <laughs> but if you lift your feet, I could take them. Mmm, can't be done. Only the very day when both of my feet are up in the air. Only then can my shoes be taken. Otherwise, I will stand forever. I see. Well, thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, hello. You came. How nice. Are you enjoying the show? Yes, very much. But I need the shoes of the dancer, and I don't know how to get them. Huh. So you like to dance. He's a very good dancer. I've never seen him fall. Hmm. So he's like the very best dancer of the world? The world. I would say the universe. He always follows the rhythm. I see. Well, thank you. I have to go. Bye. Ah, okay. I've got a, I've got an idea. Hmm, self playing piano has a door down there. I'm curious. Yeah, we need to get down there. Hello. Hello. Would you like an autograph? <laughs> What's the trumpeter doing? Uh, not really. What is the trumpeter doing, sir? Uh, he's fixing the piano. The rhythm must be perfect so we can start the show. <gasps> I see. Thank you. Okay, so how do I get down there then? I'm assuming we need to write. A different melody is my guess um let me keep looking around talk to the people never saw such a huge moth i won't bother it lady drinking lemonade all by herself wonder what kind of insect he is hello sir hello uh bye <laughs> what about you looks like she is imagining things hmm Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Do you know by chance a certain Mr. Antonio, the greatest? <gasps> of course, he was a huge trumpet trumpeter a few years ago. My mother loved his music. <gasps> so he was real. I saw him in the human world. He is very old now. Really? Wow, the human world. Well, you know, when we grow old, we all go to visit other realities to see if we've missed something. Oh, that's why he was there in my reality. We don't, humans don't do that, I think. Ah, it's quite fun. I'd love to get letters from my mother. She tells me many things. 
<laughs> yes, it does sound fun. Well, I have to keep going. Have a nice day. Oh, sorry. I heard a creature here talk about the ladybug. Rhythm and seasons are important in the slate. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I was trying to talk to the bug, not to Mr. Midnight. I wonder if these kinds of insects are all in my garden. If I go home, I'll make a little house for all the insects. Never thought they'd actually have a life. Dancer's fabulous. He, <laughs> he. Okay, dancing. And we're back out here. So how do I get inside during the other time? Oh wait, can I go inside now? Kitty's tired of being illegal. That's funny. Weird though, how do I actually interact with the piano then? Mm, I won't bother them now. I can wait until they stop playing. So how do I get them to stop playing though? Oh, the locust mask. This one looks very old. Lady drinking lemonade all by herself. Can I sit down? I don't know why that would do anything. But I'm doing it. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Use the knife! Dang it. Mr. Midnight, what, what did you say? I have to do something to trick the dancer. Heard a creature here talking about layered realities, time and such. Rhythm and seasons are important in this land. Everything is connected. I see, so I have to think that all time and space matters. And rhythm, of course. I haven't seen them anywhere, though. Bizarre. This one's this uh, th this chapter is really getting me. It really is. There's a lot going on. It's getting quite difficult to kind of get through here. Let me see if I can talk to you about the shoes. We found the shoes on the dancer yet. That's it. That's all you're gonna say. Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll look around some more and jump back in when I figure this out. All right, I had to look this one up. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, I needed to get to springtime. So we, we're here in summer, we're in fall, but if we go to winter, we just get kicked out. So you have to click it twice before it transitions. I haven't looked up anything else, but I just needed to know how to do this. So now we can go with this, we can mess with the box. Oh, um, that's blue, that's red, yellow. Ah, uh, that's not a real piano, it's just a label. Oh, this is a thermometer? Huh? I'm confused. Okay. So that's going way too fast now? So now it's going too fast, right? Uh, no, he's not gonna do it now. Can't wait until he stopped playing. 
Okay, maybe I did it wrong. So... Oh, why didn't it stay? Oh, is it because they fixed it? Wait, what? I'm really confused now. Does it need to be in the green? <laughs> oh, I think I just figured it out. Okay, so I need to make it go super fast. And I need to skip where they're fixing it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> give me those shoes, you sucker! <laughs> I have the shoes, I'm so clever! Let's take them to the wizard. Ah, uh, these are the wizard shoes. I took them from the dancer. Alright, let's get out of here. My goodness. All right, wizard, I got your stinky shoes. Sir, sir, I have the shoes, they are very pretty, look. Oh, you did it, you really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Thank you, sir, now let's do this, the last one so I can go home. Let's do the last one so we can get to chapter four. <laughs> the last one, air, hmm. I recognize this fe feather, it belongs to Polantris. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm, he'll be fine. He has the pink water. That can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? <laughs> Go visit the old Velocus me uh, mechanical doll. My wand will be there. I I have to finish my rabbit science. I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, sir. I'll bring your wand back. All right, now we deal with the machine. Uh, of course, there's the wand. Yes, kitty? I see the wand. Let's see how this works. So I believe we're having them all grab the things. Did that not work? Let's see the wand. Let's see how this works. Okay. Yeah, so the, so the hands like kind of grab things from one another. Yep, that's that. Bring it up here. And now we bring it down here. See how easy that is? <laughs> that's how all of these puzzles should have been. <laughs> now I can go home. This is the wizard's wand, but I can't do magic with it. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> I just want to go home. Little Fran Mo just wants to go home. Hello, wizard. I have your wand. That was too easy. All right, so what's gonna happen now? Here's your wand, Sir Wizard. <gasps> Magnificent, splendid, you did it! Really? But where are the stones? Can I borrow them? I can't lend you the stones. These stones are very, very special. What I can do is place the stones on the locks of the door, but you, you are the only one who could turn the key and actually open the door. Hmm, I see. King told me he would show me where the door is. <gasps> ah, then we should go and talk with him, don't you think? Yes, let's go to the castle. Okay, get me out of here back to the castle we go what kind of horrors are we gonna run into this time around it's gotta be something horrific right mr. king are you here hello that is not the king everything is fine mr. midnight what is happening? It feels like heaven. That looks like us. Older version of us. What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't you see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We kill the traitors because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me to be by my side. He promised. 
as your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, Fran. You are surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friends alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. Now let's get rid of this traitor, huh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. No! <laughs> go away, go away, it wasn't me! Oh, So sad. Mr. Midnight. Fran, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that, because you love me. Yes, Kitty, I do love you very much. Fran, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes, yes, let's do it. Okay, where is that gate? Ah, uh, it's just right here. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? All right, I have to make it visible. But are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. All right, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Hmm. Oh, wow. We're going home, kitty. Ah, uh, the Grand Wizard. Ho oh, ho ho ho, Zyar the King, good day to you. I brought the stones so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay, a very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Velocus, and she is not ready. Ah, oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard. Place the stones. We have no time to lose. So this is her waking up from a coma, is my guess? But ready for what? You know what the Velocus told you about facing your truth? <gasps> yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard, sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Hm. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You're the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Is this a puzzle? Oh. <laughs> Why does it do it like that? Ah, got it. <laughs> Making a pentagram. I smell victory again. You did it, Fran. You can go home now. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget it. forget you. You're a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Pelotris gave, uh, gave me this for you. Super Cypher Puzzle Box. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Tell uh, Palontris that I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital. But anyway, I'll tell him. And don't worry, Palontris is better now. Oh, oh before you go, I'm, you must know. Before you return to your reality, you will go through the secret woods. The woods are a kind of invisible passage between our realities. And you may encounter terrible creatures that want to eat you. But just run. They are quite slow. And you're telling me this now? Huh, that sounds very scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. <laughs> I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. Had a great time. I, I like you very much. Goodbye. Cool. Oh boy, man, that was quite the reality. There's a lot going on in that world. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, am I supposed to jump? Okay. I guess I'm doing some platforming here. Hippity hop, on the rock we go. <laughs> these, these like intermission between level things are always 
quite interesting. Very cool the way that they're done. Come on, Franbo! You got this! Like a giant troll thingy. And hippity. And uh, hoppity. So what happens if you fall in the hole? You just lose? <gasps> the door. The door. Achievement unlocked. A troll. Run. So I guess it is a troll. Chapter four, part one. My imaginary friend. Well, we're going to leave this. <laughs> Even if there's talking, I'm just going to quit the game. <laughs> oh, okay. My goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight. Let's find out where we are. Don't you dare say anything. <laughs> oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Midnight, look, I think we are at the other side of the bridge. Do you remember? The one we tried to cross before we fell into the into Etherstuff? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Oh boy. Oh wow. That was that was such a weird chapter. I'm like trying to piece together what's happening in this game. And I and I'm I'm coming up with all these theories, but they're kind of like debunking themselves. And I, I just don't know what's happening. Is Are those our pills, by the way? I think those are our pills. Um, but man, that chapter was rough because there were a lot of like, like, yes, this is a puzzle game. There's supposed to be some challenging puzzles, but there's some like mechanical functions of this game that it doesn't necessarily tell you. So having to like double click on the seasons to make sure you skip a season entirely so you don't disappear from the the area. Like, that's a pretty difficult one to know unless you've, like, unless you're, like, really taking a long time to experiment and kind of sitting there for a very long time. <laughs> I'm just serving that. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> and so it, 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 some of those puzzles were a little bit frustrating. I, I'm, I'm very glad I got through, like, 99% of those just by playing the game. But some of those I had to kind of really sit around and try to figure that out for quite a while. But... Um, overall, very interesting chapter, being turned into a piece of wood, transforming back into a human, going through Etherista, learning about the different realities, all this other stuff. Actually, while I'm here, I want to examine this thing. This is, uh, I wonder why Polantris gave me this. I can't open it. Maybe there's a secret code or something. Or maybe it can't be opened at all. Yes, yeah, so we have this weird puzzle box. Um, and nothing else. But yeah, we got this whole journal to like learn about this guy and his journeys through insanity um, and everything else. So weird. So bizarre. And he's seeing a lot of the same things. These are the black cats, like the one that's guiding us. So that kind of helps confirm a little bit of my theories about the black cat being like a guide to our death maybe i don't know but we'll have to figure out more as we get through chapter four and inevitably the final chapter five on this so thank you all so, so much for coming along on this journey it's quite the journey i might take a break <laughs> uh and do a different video tomorrow just because these are such long episodes uh it does take a long time to record these and to edit them and do everything so you might see something smaller shorter for tomorrow's video we'll see but if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.